Hi, I'm Tony Lambert, and I'm here to talk about Luma C2 from the 2025 Threat Detection Report. This malware recently had a takedown disruption action taken against them, and even though that's happened, we still need to talk about it a little bit, simply because just because a disruption happens doesn't mean the malware goes away. They can come back, they can still be a threat, so we're going to take a good look at them. Luma C2 is a stealer malware that is very popular and has been very prevalent in the last year. Uh, it is sold at a very reasonable price, very cheap price compared to other stealers. And it's incredibly easy to incorporate that stealer malware into a lot of different threats, into a lot of different intrusion chains. So it is something we've seen a lot in the last year. Luma C2 is a stealer threat that Ideally for the adversary goes and pulls information out of your web browser. It looks through specific applications on disk than your uh, Windows installations and tries to find passwords, keys, secrets, things that allow you to access websites, access applications that your organization hosts. Luma C2 packages those up into a zip file and sends them home to an adversary who can go and grab those materials and try to reuse them or sell them. The number one takeaway for Luma C2 has been that it became really exceedingly popular and exceedingly prevalent compared to other stealers in the latter half of the year. Uh, with the first part of the year, first half of the year, uh, all of the stealer families were kind of neck and neck. You could see uh, any one of them could be used in the average threat. But on towards October to November, we started seeing a lot of what they call paste and run type threats. Things like fake CAPTCHAs that would trick people into copying and pasting code to execute on their system. Nearly every one for a couple of months span would deploy Luma C2. So every time Luma was deployed in the wild, it was something that drove our statistics up even higher. The big number one takeaway for Luma has just been it got a lot more prevalent just out of sheer volume. One of the things that really surprised me about Luma C2 is how much the developers of this software treat it like it's really a business. It is really enterprise software that's meant to do bad things. Uh, they have support documents, they have uh, support forms, they have support contacts where adversaries that are using Luma can go and ask for help. They can go and get support. Uh, they also have license terms. If you want to go and buy Luma, you can do so. And you, if they catch you using it in certain ways that are against their terms of service, they'll keep you from buying it in the future. They actually, they absolutely won't sell it to you anymore. So it's something that's kind of surprising to me where it's its, its own ecosystem, it's its own business really that uh, keeps Luma going around. There are a couple of actionable insights that we can take from this entire endeavor. The first is going to be to you know, deploy our endpoint sensors to be able to get that increased better visibility. And the second actionable insight is going to be to have some sort of response plan that you can use really easily to help remediate this malware.